<laughs> I recommend middle school drama. <laughs> somewhere in the middle of a row with enough light that you cannot actually sleep. You can sit there and you go, it's amazing the places your mind can go. Um, in the case of the graveyard book, I was sitting there in the sunshine and I looked at my son and I thought, you know, he looks really happy here. I thought, you know, you could do something a lot like Kipling's The Jungle Book. That was a story about a kid whose family were killed, who wanders into the jungle, who is raised by jungle animals and taught the things that jungle animals know. And I thought, I could do that. I just set it in a graveyard. And it will be about somebody who, some little kid whose family is killed, and they wander into a graveyard and, and they get raised by dead people. And they get taught all the things that dead people know. And it was a revelation. And I was thrilled. And I thought, I, that's an idea. That's a proper idea. It has legs. It will make a great book. And I went up to my office that night, and I sat down, and I wrote a page and a half. And I looked at the page and a half that I'd written, and I thought, this idea is so much better than I am a writer. <laughs> And I put it off, and I put it aside. And every four or five years, I would come back to it. And I go, you know, that idea, that thing, the graveyard book, that's a real thing. I, I will go back, I will try it again. So I would try it again. And I would look at what I'd written, I go, that's, that's not right, not yet. And I would write something else. And there was some weird kind of level on which, in the very, 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 very far distant back of my head, everything else I was writing was still just to be good enough to get to the graveyard book, which was the first idea for a book I'd ever had. And I wasn't ready to write it yet. And then somewhere about 2003, 2004, I thought, I'm not getting any better. <laughs> <laughs> That was apparently it. And now, probably about as good as I'm going to get. I'm in my 40s. I've been writing for a living for over half my life. And I'm, this is it. I may as well start it. So, every other time I tried to start the book, I'd started it in the beginning. And that had not worked very well. Because I did not yet have a book. So I thought, what I'll do is I'll start in the middle. I have an idea for a structure. I know I want it to be a chapter every two years. And I know that it's going to, the first chapter is going to be coming to the graveyard, the last chapter will be leaving it, and I'll do the middle chapter. And, and Bod will be eight. So I started writing it. We were on holiday. I don't do holidays really well. <laughs> Some people are holiday people, not me. Uh, mostly, I think, because A, I really enjoy what I do, I love writing. And B, I get bored. And I've never understood what people do on beaches. <laughs> I know they're there. <laughs> and you can take a book. Or you can write. So, round about day two of going, ah, oh, I'm, I'm finished with, I'm on holiday, I'm on holiday, I'm on holiday, I sat down on a deck chair on a beach and pulled out my notebook and started writing. And my daughter Maddie, who's my youngest, who is much better at beaches than I am at holidays, and have been doing sensible things like splashing around, um, came and sat next to me and she said, what are you doing? And I said, I've just started writing something. And she said, well, read it to me. Now, I just got up to the point at which previously I would have given up and thrown it away. Um, I would have gone, yeah, this isn't working. But I had a little girl sitting next to me, she was about 10, she wanted to know what I'd read, so I read it to her. And I read her the first couple of pages of chapter 4, which is The Witch's Headstone. And when I got to the end of uh, <coughs> reading her that little section, she said, what happens next? 
And those three words, um, they're magic for Arthur. Because suddenly you know somebody cares. And you have a reason for telling them. And you want to know as well. So instead of giving up, I carried on. And very soon I had a finished chapter. And then, fairly slowly, but over the next couple of years, I would write another chapter here, another chapter there, Find it this time starting at the beginning, but knowing, knowing a lot more and feeling a lot more comfortable. And eventually, last March, I finished the book. Um, and I'm really happy. And I thought I would read you a little bit.